I first came to India, I, I came because my father was born here in Uti. Later I came here because I was an advisor to the St. Francis Leprosy Guild and I used to travel all over India to leprosy centers, which is in 1950. I came up to Oxford University and it didn't take me very long to be interested in the skin. I started being interested in the skin about 1956 and I eventually became a dermatologist and professor of dermatology in Oxford. In my younger days there, I did research on the blood supply of the skin. But by about 1976, I became interested in the drainage system of the skin, which is called the lymphatic system. And failure of the, lymph of the lymphatic system is called lymphedema. The play I then became interested in what are the main causes of lymphedema, and one of them is transmission by a mosquito bite of a parasite called filaria. And there were probably about, at that time, about 140 million people in India that had been bitten by the mosquito, and about 40 million of those were developing lymphedema. Much later, when I was looking at ways of managing lymphedema in the tropics, and in particular in India, I began to wonder, how can we do this at low cost in rural areas of countries like India? And I began to be interested in what is available in these countries, in these small villages, which at low cost could help to control lymphedema. And with a medical student called Baba Vakas, we worked together to produce the first paper on the possibility that yoga, which is available in all villages of India, and local herbals, which is available through the Indian systems of a, a medical service, such as Ayurveda, Unani, and Siddha, combining these in the villages to treat lymphedema should be a possibility and might well result in a good response. The reason for this idea was that I knew that what the lymphatics, when they were failing, most needed was a stimulus to movement. And I knew that yoga was likely to stimulate movement and massage and propel fluid and waste products through the lymphatics. I also knew that one of the major problems in lymphedema was a breakdown of the surface of the skin which allowed bacteria and other irritants from the soil to get in and injure the skin. And therefore, anything which could be used as a soak and a wash, which was locally available and which would kill bacteria and restore the skin, would be a benefit. And I knew that Ayurveda had such therapies. We published this paper, and I then came to Calicut to an Ayurvedic conference. And I gave a paper on saying perhaps yoga and herbals in local villages might help this very common condition. Dr. Nahari was at that conference. He'd already read my paper, and he said, well, I think we should try this. And a year later, I came here to visit him, and he was already trying this combination of yoga and Ayurvedic medicine. That was the beginning of the story. Well, we now have, it's 15 years later, we now have a very exciting project here which is unique. It's actually better than any other project on the management of lymphedema anywhere in the world, but it's still not very well known. And there are competitive bodies also managing lymphedema who have to be persuaded that they need to see what's happening here because it is, in better, it is better than what they're doing. So a lot has to be done in advertising this place. 
but also we now have got to a stage where we have um, an excellent building, we have a large staff, we have some very dedicated people treating lymphedema, and we have a large number of patients from all over India and other parts of the world who are extremely grateful for the treatment that they have had. It's still not well funded. It's still got a long way to do to go before it is persuasive of critiques who haven't really been here to see how good it is. But we're winning. Dr. Nahari is winning and his team. The combination of Ayurvedic medicine with yoga and biomedicine is an, a form of integrated medicine which deserves a lot of funding. And I hope that this particular meeting, which has led members of parliament, like Mr. Gray, to come here, may well result in the kind of funding which is needed. But it is big funding. We really, to solve some of the problems that have got to be solved in order to make certain that all patients benefit and it's not just simply trying this and trying that. We need to be in a position where we can analyze everything that is going on, and that is costly. We need some additional equipment. We need some more research, some of which is quite expensive. And this is the place to do it. And I am persuaded, as I come here fairly frequently, that the advances here are very exciting and should be known worldwide and really should be well funded.